All right, Bunny, let's talk about you and your life. Okay. So you grew up in a small town. A very small town. What was that like? Uh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I grew up in a small town, and if you look up the population, it'll say like 2,000 people. Mm-hmm. But a 1,000 of those people are uh, in the women's prison, which they use for like census purposes because you get more tax money. So it's like a 1,000 people. Wow. Um, my graduating class is like 50 people. So very, very small. <laughs> wow. Is it so, I mean, tell us some of like the pitfalls of living, because I grew up in LA, so I have no idea. <laughs> Which is like, I, I wouldn't know what living, it, like growing up in LA would be like. I just can't even comprehend that either. Um, I mean, you know everyone and mm-hmm. everyone knows you and everyone knows all of your business and you know all of their business. And it's just... It's it's a lot. And it's it's also like where I grew up, um, it just felt like a very dead end sort of area. And mm-hmm. I was like, if I'm going to do anything, I need to leave this town. Like, mm-hmm. that is my only goal in life. Like, I don't care what I, I just need to get out of here. And yeah, it's just, it's very strange growing up in a small town like that. And just having everyone who lives anywhere near you be such a sort of intimate part of your life and know so much about you. And I'm like, I have people tell me now that I'm like kind of withholding or like secretive about things. And it's not necessarily on purpose, but I think it's, I really appreciate a certain level of privacy. Like I'm showing hole on the internet. So I clearly yeah. don't care too much about like yeah. all of my privacy. Right. <laughs> but like there are some things that I'm like, this is for me. This is mine. Yeah. This is for certain people that I let have it. And when you grow up in a small town like that, you don't really have, like, sure, I wasn't showing my tits online then, but I, like, every other horrible part of your life, everyone knows about. And it's just, it's so exposing in a completely different way. Mm-hmm. So how do, I assume that everybody in your town probably knows. I would assume. That you do porn <laughs> I would assume so. Do you get... Facebook messages. I'm not on Facebook. Okay. Um, I deleted my Facebook like even before I joined porn. Um, but I have uh, a couple friends of mine who I like follow on Twitter and we were like good friends in high school and some of them still live there or had lived there up until recently. And I would talk to them about it and be like, yeah, people come into where I work and they're like, oh, do you know what she's doing now? what is she up to and it's like you know what she's up to you know what she's like we all know what she's doing and it's I'm fine with it I mean like everyone in my life knows that I do porn my family knows that I do porn all of my friends know before I joined and so I don't I don't care if they know or not mm-hmm. I mean, it's, look me up on Pornhub get that rank up baby like yeah <laughs> watch it so your family's okay with what you do mm-hmm. yeah my mom and I like I said we're extremely close and I told her when I joined the industry Mm-hmm. and um, I, I tell people my mom is like offensively supportive like she is very supportive um, she is just the perfect mother and I could not appreciate her more or love her more um, but yeah she's she's totally chill with whatever it is that I choose to do with my life I'm supporting myself and paying my bills and I am happy and that's all that matters to her that's great. Yeah. I wish more parents were like that. I know. It's it's so sad for me when I see people in the industry who have, like, strained relationships or basically mm-hmm. non-existent relationships with their family. I'm just like, it's so sad. But It's so ha- sad. And it's also, I think, really hard on your mental health because yeah. when you're going through struggles and you don't feel like you have a support system. No, no. That's really rough. I know. Because for me, it's like I have my mom who I'm very close with and I feel like I can tell her anything. I have... You know, my ex and I are, like, best friends, and I have people that I know, like, if something horrible, like, I have them there, and I have them to to bounce that off of, and it's it's really unfortunate that other people don't have that, and my mom and I, like, the way I grew up, I, I equate it to, like, she's, like, my old, like, war buddy, where it's, like, I love her, and I love being there, with, but, like, seeing her in person sometimes, like, reminds me of, like, how I grew up, and things like that and so sometimes it's like it's hard for me to see her but it's not because I I don't love her it's just I remember my growing up in this small town and all of that chaos Mm -hmm. but I yeah we've been through so much together too and I I couldn't imagine 
not having her in my life just because this is how I choose to make an income. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.